Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the seasonal weapons for Season of the Splicer. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the override weapons plus the seasonal pass weapons because obviously they're a part of that. We're going to be looking at pretty much all of the weapons and my thoughts on these weapons are actually a lot of them are really cool. I just wish that some of them were different archetypes, but we'll get to that when we get to that. The first weapon we're going to be talking about is Chroma Rush. Uh, it is a legendary kinetic with that is a rapid fire frame, a 720, which is interesting. And I, the, my first gut reaction to this is that I think a lot of other auto rifles do it a lot better. But that being said, I haven't seen the perks yet. Uh, I'm, speak, I'm speaking just from experience of using the weapon itself, but let's look at the perks that it can roll with and then I'll give my final verdict on it. And like previous seasons, I'll have all of the perks uh, at the bottom of the video so that way you can actually see what they do uh, I will have them for all of them throughout the time I'm talking about the perks so if you forget or whatever reason you'll have them in the video so first one is heating up final blows with this weapon increase accuracy and stability while improving vertical recoil moving target feeding frenzy tunnel vision reloading after defeating a target greatly increases target acquisition and aim down sight speed for a short duration Dynamic spray reduction and subsistence. For the second row, it's going to be Adrenaline Junkie. Grenade final blows grant bonus damage and handling for a moderate duration. Tap the trigger, kill clip, rampage, thresh, and wellspring. So immediately, I already have a few rolls that I would actually go for. Uh, the perks on it is really good. The fact that it's a 720 probably will make me want to use it a lot more. But... If I'm being honest, what I would probably do is subsistence with Rampage. As you guys know, subsistence got a good buff, which basically means that it's not bad anymore. It does not hurt your ammo reserve, which means you can just use subsistence and not feel bad. So for me, subsistence with Rampage, subsistence with Thresh would be an interesting choice as well. Uh, I would stay away from Feeding Frenzy. I just don't like Feeding Frenzy. I've already explained my thoughts on that, why I don't like it. Uh, Heating up final blows with this weapon increases accuracy and stability while improved. Uh, I, I, like, it, controllers, controller users, yes, this would probably be really good. Tunnel vision, reloading after a, defeating a target greatly increases target acquisition and downside. Again, this is mostly for controller players. I don't really, maybe, maybe, depending on how big that target acquisition buff is, will be pretty cool. And you basically might get uh, snapshot sight speed, maybe. I don't know. I uh, definitely want to test it before I give my verdict, but for right now, I would probably go with dynamic spray reduction and subsistence with feeding frenzy being like the lowest pick. Like I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't destroy it, but I wouldn't be happy with it. For the second row, obviously, kill clip would be pretty interesting. Rampage, rampage is going to be like the go-to for a lot of people. Thresh might be a really good pick. Uh, adrenaline junkie grenade final blows grant bonus damage and handling for a moderate duration uh, depending how big that bonus damage is this might be a really good play especially for uh, certain classes that can have just an immediate explosion for their grenade that would be really cool uh, tap to trigger I mean I, I'm gonna see a lot of people try to go for the dynamic spray reduction and kill clip or I mean <laughs> sorry the dynamic spray reduction with tap to trigger I can see a lot of people going for that and Wellspring, I probably would just stay away from. Overall, I underestimated this weapon. I like the perks that you can get on it. Like the gun itself does not feel bad. It's just that like in my head, there's just certain auto rifles that I would just pick over this one. But now that I've seen the, the perks that it can get and the fact that the gun itself does not feel bad at all, I might actually start farming for this gun because a subsistence and rampage roll sounds really fucking good. So, Next one is going to be Grid Skipper, which is probably my favorite gun in the season right now. Uh, aside from like the the uh, special weapons, but we'll get to those when we get to those. Grid Skipper is a legendary energy pulse rifle in the rapid fire frame family, and it is a 540. The perks on it is pretty interesting. So first and foremost, it's going to be tunnel vision, reloading after defeating a target greatly increases target acquisition and aim down side speed for a short duration. Killing wind, moving target, heating up, final blows with this weapon increases accuracy and stability while improving vertical recoil. Firmly planted, increase accuracy, stability, and handling when firing while crouched. Slideways, and then for the next row, it's gonna be frenzy, adrenaline junkie, thresh, high impact reserves, multi kill clip, 
and snapshot sites. So, so I have a killing wind with multi kill clip and a firmly planted with I think snapshot sites. I love this weapon. It's it feels so good to shoot. I don't know what it is, but if you were to ask me like what which would be my role that I would want to really go for, it would be killing wind with high impact reserves most likely. Although multi kill clip kill uh, multi kill clip will probably do a lot of work for me in PvP. Uh, overall, I really like this weapon. I don't really there's nothing that like really sticks to me like oh I really want this because I have killing wind and multi kill clip which is probably a role that a lot of people are going to try to go for uh high impact reserves is nice because you get uh bonus damage at the end of your magazine but multi kill clip might be the best choice for this one just because once you get it rolling it could probably just melt people so i really like this weapon i don't have much to say about this one because it's just really good and overall i highly recommend you get this one especially especially a good like a god roll uh I still don't know if I got the god roll, uh, but we'll see. I'll definitely play with it a little bit more. The next one is one of the weapons that I wish was a different archetype. It's the Farewell. It's a legendary kinetic sidearm uh, in the lightweight frame family. This, this is like, so my issue with this sidearm is the fact that it's a single shot. I think single shot sidearms are bad. Although this does have fully auto as a perk that you can get. I still think like the third, the three burst weapons, the uh, the three bursts, the ones that have fully auto, like those are just way better because I don't know, sidearms just need every help they can get, and it just feels weak at times. So let's look at the perks real quick before I like really just say it's all dog shit because I don't think it's dog. I don't think it's dog shit. I just I don't like the archetype. Is pretty much it. So first and foremost, tunnel vision. Heating up, range finder, fully auto trigger system, subsistence, and moving target for the first row. For the second row, it's gonna be frenzy, adrenaline junkie, unrelenting, multi kill clip, thresh, and vorpal weapon. So, for the first row, immediately fully auto trigger system. It just feels way better. Like, I don't like weapons or sidearms that ha don't have fully auto trigger system in it, especially if it's a single shot. So for the first row, I'm immediately tr gonna try to get full auto trigger system. I don't care what it is. Next one, you could go for frenzy or multi kill clip, maybe adrenaline junkie. Uh, that's pretty much it. I don't think uh, obviously unrelenting is a hot dog shit. Thresh might be good for this, but I d I don't see this weapon as being your main. Uh, well, it probably will be your main DPS. So maybe Vorpal weapon. I would no, no, I would never do that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like again, like if this was like a three burst, a two burst, uh, an auto right or an auto shooting one, it would be good. I just don't like single shots personally. So that's pretty much it. Next one is going to be ignition code. I love this weapon. It's fucking ridiculous and I love it. It's really good. I think the only thing that I was surprised about is the fact that it's not a, uh, it's not a breach light, which basically means you throw, you shoot the grenade and it has like a wave of whatever uh, burn it is. It's not like that, which I was really expecting it to be. Not saying I'm disappointed because I still love the shit out of this. So ignition code, it's a kinetic grenade launcher, kinetic, which we haven't had one and we did need one. And let's look at the perks. So field prep, slide shot, sur surplus, ambitious assassin, quick draw. Lead from gold for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be danger zone. The blast radius of this weapon increases when surrounded by combatants. Thresh, Vorpal weapon, demolitionist, one for all, and frenzy. So, for a lot of people, it's either going to be slide shot or ambitious assassin. That's that. Those are the two correct choices. Slide shot will refund you ammo, and this is going to be really good because once you're sliding, you can shoot. Get that get it to proc shoot and if you're lucky it'll proc again and you can shoot it again at least that's what i've heard although for me ambitious assassin is really good because you'll get two shots when you kill stuff you'll most likely always be killing stuff so you're, you're gonna be able to shoot two all the time and then for the last row could be really anything you want it to be uh frenzy is probably going to be the choice that people go for one for all on this weapon no i don't think so fam that's a big yikes for me demolitionist is a good one for like pve 
Uh, Vorpal Weapon, also a good choice. Not bad for, in, my, in my opinion. Thresh is an interesting choice. And Danger Zone is basically Surrounded, but for Blast stuff. And I don't, I don't like Surrounded, so this is probably never going to be a thing that I choose. Overall, I love the, this weapon to death. It's one of my favorite weapons for, for right now. The Ambitious Assassin and Vorpal Weapon one would probably be the best one. But Frenzy, you'll already have that damage if you're in a fight. So I don't, I just don't know which one I would choose from that. It doesn't really matter because I already have Ambitious Assassin and Frenzy. So for me, I already have that. At this point, I'm just going to be farming for other stuff. So yeah, they probably one of the best weapons in the season right now. Hands down, I wouldn't even argue anyone if they said that. Next one is Sojourn, so Sojourner's Tail, which is a legendary, legendary energy shotgun, and it's a precision frame. I haven't seen the perks on it yet. I, okay, I already don't like it. I can already tell you this. So let's look at the perks real quick. Uh, rapid hit, tunnel vision, threat detector, auto loading holster quick draw and moving target for the first row for the second row it's going to be killing wind frenzy adrenaline junkie dragonfly surrounded and opening shot so it's kind of unfortunate that this gun is in the energy slot and it's also a precision frame because we already have like a really good energy shotgun that's a slug which is first in last out if you don't know that one can drop with auto loading holster and vorpal so this one is definitely not going to be a gun that people are going to choose for pve just because forpal on a slug is really good not only that but it can drop with the salt mag as well so for me i actually have the god roll for first and last thought which is a salt mag auto loading holster and vorpal weapon this one does not have vorpal weapon it does have a salt mag and auto loading holster but you don't have anything bumping that uh that damage like like Vorpal Weapon, Vorpal Weapon, uh, a permanent 15% if I remember correctly. You could probably go for Frenzy, Adrenaline Junkie, Surrounded, but these perks, you, you need to do something to, to proc them. Vorpal's always there. Even Frenzy, like... <sighs> Frenzy will probably be the best choice, but I don't know how much damage you get from that. And even then, like, Frenzy for me is just such an unreliable... Uh, perk because sometimes I'll be in that I'll be in combat, but it's that just doesn't proc. So this will most likely be something that people go for for like a strictly PvP weapon, which is not bad or anything. It's just that it's unfortunate, very unfortunate because I actually do like this gun. It's really cool. I like the model, but again, why would you use this if you can use the first and last out? Like, even if you don't have auto loading, even if you don't have assault mag, if you get Vorpal weapon on it, it's going to be a god roll. So, unfortunate. Last but not least, we have Shattered, Shattered Cypher, which is a machine gun, rapid fire frame. And it's pretty, it's pretty nasty. It's a 900 uh, RPM LMG. So, for a lot of people, this is going to be pretty fun. I, it's fun for me, at least. Let's look at the perks real quick. It's going to be tunnel vision, heating up, field prep under pressure slideways and auto loading holster for the first row for the second row it's going to be unrelenting snapshot sites surrounded zen moment rampage and adrenaline junk so for me the god roll is anything to do with rampage you're going to want rampage on a lmg it's just the choice to do i don't know why you would pick anything else uh adrenaline junkie would probably be the other best choice depending on how much uh damage it is but the cool thing is that I actually, I think I have the God Roll. I have Under Pressure with Rampage. Under Pressure improved improved stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower. So once I get to half of that ammo, which for me is like 40 something, because I can bump mine up to 70 or 95 if I remember correctly. So after the half of that, I'm getting better st st uh, stability and accuracy and rampage which i'm just getting stacks of damage so for me obviously improved uh in, under pressure and rampage is going to be like the perk field prep and rampage might be the choice for a lot of people because you do get an increase in ammo reserves faster reloads though and ready when you're crouching that's also a really good one but i think i'm gonna like the improved stability and accuracy a little bit more but i'm definitely going to try to get the field prep one as well heating up I don't think it's going to be, well, you do get increased uh, accuracy and stability 
while improving maybe heating up and tunnel vision reloading after defeating a target date uh, maybe i don't know it's just i i want to see how good these two are before i give my final verdict but for now under pressure and rampage is going to be the roles that i go for so that's pretty much it i wanted to review all these weapons first because i mean it's the first thing i usually do in the season aside from pretty much everything else i really do like a lot of these weapons i just wish that a there were different archetypes or b they had certain perks that would make them viable, like Sojour Sojourner's Tail. I wish it had Vorpal Weapon to make it viable in PvE. Uh, not saying it's not viable, it's just if you have a first and last out, you're definitely not going to switch out. Uh, the Farewell, I just wish it was a different archetype because Seagull Shot sidearms are not the best in my opinion. And that's actually, that's pretty it. Like, I think it's only those two weapons that I really have a big issue with. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, it's links are in the description below. I think everyone that comes to my streams, I really do appreciate it because I am starting to stream on YouTube. So if you do come through, ask questions, tell me hi, tell me I'm a potato. I don't really care. I'm all for it. But other than that, I'll see you guys there.